Hallelujah, the kids are back in school. As long as you can get them out the freaking door. School mornings have always been a struggle at my house. My kids may know the Pythagorean theorem, but they clearly don't know how to tell time. Fortunately, my smart home has made this 1,000 times easier. Okay, maybe just twice as easy, but that's still pretty good. So let's take a look at some home automation tricks that you can use to make school mornings a little more bearable, starting with wake up lighting. Now I am honestly shocked at how much of a difference wake up lighting can make. My kids have these Govi LED strip lights circling their ceiling, which is perfect for their late night rave parties. But in the morning with wake up light mode in the Alexa app, we can set them to gradually turn on to emulate a sunrise. So by the time their Amazon Echo Alarm wakes them up with their favorite song, it has kind of tricked their stupid little brains into thinking it's time to wake up. It's pretty genius, and it works in our stupid adult brains too. Assuming the alarm gets them out of bed, and surprisingly it usually does, the next hard part is getting them out of the house on time. Now it doesn't seem to matter how much time they allow, they could wake up at four in the morning, they're still gonna be rushing to the door at the very last second. But now, instead of me watching the clock, hounding them, yelling at them, we now have a colored light system that the kids apparently have a lot more respect for than they do their dad. So we have color LED strip lights in the kitchen and the living room, so they're very easy to see no matter where you are. My son has to leave the house by 7 a.m. to catch the bus, and I'm gonna have to run for school board to push that back an hour or two. But until I do, we have an automation set to turn the LED lights green at 6.53 a.m., which is seven minutes until he has to leave the house. This green light means you better get upstairs, brush your teeth, comb your hair, put your deodorant on, Please, please, please put your deodorant on. Then four minutes later, or three minutes until it's time to leave, the lights turn purple. Now you better be getting your backpack, shoes, all that together. If my son still happens to be in the bathroom at that time, those lights will also flash to let him know it's time to finish up in there. Finally, with one minute to go, the lights turn red, and the front door is going to unlock if it hasn't been manually unlocked already. Now you really better be heading out the door. With 15 seconds left, the LED lights will flash and if the front door has not opened, the Sono speaker is going to kick in with a curt warning to get their butts out of the house now. You have 15 seconds to leave the house. If you miss the bus, you are grounded for life. And with those automations, I get the kids out of the house on time, every time, essentially stress-free. In fact, it works so well, if I'm up late at night and I need to sleep in, I can actually trust that they can get themselves up and off to school on time, completely by themselves. Now, of course, as a backup, I do have another automation that says if the kid's bathroom light has not turned on by 645, it will trigger my alarm to wake me up and get my son out of bed, and then we're thrust back into our old school panic mode. Other back to school automations you'll want in your arsenal are to automatically turn your kid's bedroom lights off when they leave for school, because you know they're never gonna do that on their own. In the winter, when it's dark outside in the morning, make sure you have your front lights automated to turn on when the front door opens, also, and this only applies for when the hub knows I'm home, I have the front door automated to unlock right before they're scheduled to come home from school. Because I'm a nice guy like that. Otherwise, they can just use the lock code that's individualized for each kid. Now, the cool thing about these automations is you don't necessarily need to have a hub to set these up. Now, my wake up light is done with the Alexa app. Google Home has a similar gentle wake feature. Even the colored get the heck out of these house lights, including the threatening speaker, those could all be done with an Alexa routine if you have compatible Alexa devices. And just remember, that's not local, so you're still taking the chance that if your internet goes out in the morning, your kids will miss school. I'm sure your kids are willing to take that risk. Now, that said, I am using the Habitat Elevation for my automations in this case. It gives me local control and a few more options with my automation. One thing I do in my Habitat that I can't do in simpler platforms is I preload my kids' entire school schedule into the automation so that it will not run on weekdays when the kids are actually on school break. You can see it here and I will add some more screenshots and descriptions in our blog article and you can find that in the description below. But the bottom line is it doesn't matter if you use HomeKit or SmartThings or Home Assistant or whatever. The more we use home automation to get our kids efficiently out of our homes, the better off we're all gonna be. I heard you, Dad! Hey, thanks for watching. If you didn't hate it, Give it a like, subscribe, do all the things. Then check out these videos right here.